Like we're both in too much of a hurry. What's the matter? He was no hurry, local. He's right ambitious to get rid of me. Tries it once in a while when he thinks I'm not watching. A good horse is like a pretty woman, always ready to teach you, kind of unawares like. <laughs> I don't think you've got many pretty girls on this range. No? Well, there's a school mom over there at Sourdough Flats, and then there's the uh, two gals from Missouri. Settled in the forks over there in the blue road. And then, of course, there's all there. Yeah? Gloria O'Neill. She's the prettiest one in the whole bunch. O'Neill? You don't seem to set much store with that O'Neill name. I don't. Hmm. And my name's Doc Underdunk. Might hard to hear. I didn't catch your brand. I just rode up from Texas. My name's Bill Smith. <laughs> Show some originality, son. Other folks will be reading your mail. I'm Deputy Bullsmaster down the Wolf Bend. Why, there's 20 Bill Smiths riding this range right now. <laughs> I'd say it's John Doe. Only I suppose you're a Deputy Sheriff, too. <laughs> you're right. I got a couple of warrants for that gent. I'm not so good at figuring out names. It always gives me a headache. Better try my treatments. <laughs> you see, I'm Doc Sawbones down in town. Jerk teeth as a sideline. I'm deputy justice of the peace. I'm deputy coroner. And I don't do a bad, rough job of undertaking. <laughs> also, if you want to die, 
go to jail, get married, be planted, have a toothache or anything else, just see old Doc Underdunk. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir, doctor. I'll try a treatment someday. Come on, Doc. Come so along, you. Get in. Get in. Get in there. to Bolton's Beef Camp. Hey there. Wake up, partner. A dead man in there, been murdered. Ramsey, eh? You ought to know it better than homesteading the Wolf River Water Gap. They say he was on the rock payroll. I guess them's two good reasons why he got hisn. Look here, Underdunk. I'm Jeff Rourke's son, Tom Rourke. I ran Dad's ranch down in Texas. I've never been up here before, but I'd like to know what's wrong with being a Rourke man. Well, ten months out of the year, Cattle can't cross forever, nowhere, except over this land. It's dry as a bone now, but at marketing, you ought to see it. What's that got to do with the rocks? Well, you see, Buck O'Neill and the rest of the cattlemen, they think Ramsey was making false entry on this claim for your dad. My father wouldn't mix up in a thing like that. It's against the law. It mean prison. You ain't telling me nothing, son. I'm Deputy U.S. Land Commissioner out here. If you thought there was anything illegal, why haven't you acted? Well, thinking and proving are two different things. About like night and day, if you get what I mean. Well, let's go inside and investigate. All right. So that's the way Ramsey got his, eh? A sitting calm and peaceful like in his own chair. Hmm. There's where the killer stood. Hmm. Do those footprints tell you anything? Well, not exactly. The killer was left-handed. See how he stood? Right foot forward. Left turned at a decided angle. Hmm. That's the way a rifleman stands when he shoots from his left shoulder. A 30-40 shot from that distance would have blasted Jim's head off. <laughs> Certainly. That proves the shot wasn't fired from here. It came from across the river, or the wound wouldn't have been small and clean. Now we only had the shell. Here's one. Picked it up just before you came in. Hmm. See that peculiar dent made in the edge of the rim? Yeah. That shows the rifle had a flaw in the ejector. Now we only had another shell to match with this one with a dent in it. Here's one. Out of the same gun. Where'd you get that? Just fired at me down the trail this morning before I met you. Oh, that's funny. First they kill a Rourke man and then they try to get a Rourke. I guess that puts it on the O'Neill side of the river. Well, I guess I better be shoving off for the beef camp. Better be a damn quest tomorrow, Rourke.
so it's you, huh? You Easy there. I'll take care of him. What's the trouble? Look out! That about even. Stranger, next time you meet Mike Gonzado, you better forget your fists and use a gun. Cat, you fool me today by riding a killer's horse. Looks like Mike's having trouble with that Ramsey girl. But I'll get you, and I'll get this hombre too. I think I better take you home. Thanks, stranger. Keep out of sight, sister. Here, there's only room for one here. You won't let them get me. Those men can't take me alive, and they're not taking anybody, as long as my ammunition holds out. better surrender in the name of the law. In the law's name? When did the law start running down women? That's no woman. He's the killer of Jim Ramsey, and the law wants him. There's only a girl with me, and a pretty one at that. She's got brown hair and big gray eyes. You better forget your compliments and ten years. Then the law wants her. Maybe help the killer get away and change horses with her. I warn you, Deputy Sheriff. Say, who is that fellow? Lou Bolton. He's the northern manager for that thieving Rourke outfit. And you? O'Neill is my name. Gloria O'Neill. And yours? I might have known, Mother Brand, on your horse, you're a rock cow puncher. I guess you made a mistake, mister, helping an old Neil. Go on over and join Bolton, or he might fire you. I'll fight my own laws, mister. I'm not their kind, Miss O'Neill. I'm going to help you. Mike Gonzalo's working around to head us off. We've got to get to the riverbed. Come on.
They don't seem to be shooting in our direction. It must be Dad's men. They're driving off the Bolton gang. I guess there isn't anything else I can do. I don't know of anyone else that could have done as much as you have. You don't seem to be very glad. Sure I'm glad. Only I guess I, I won't be seeing you anymore after today. You're not thinking of going back with that Lou Bolton outfit. They'd kill you after what happened today. Happened, Gloria. Mike Gonzaga roped me off my horse. I wouldn't be here alive if it hadn't been for him. But we fooled him, Danny. They took after me, thinking I was you. Bob, get our horses. Yes, ma'am. I want to thank you for saving my sister. <laughs> I'm always making that mistake. So you're her brother, huh? You didn't give your sister much of a break running away and leaving her. What are you driving at? They were after you for killing Jim Ramsey. Your sister knew it. And you let her change horses with you to throw the posse off trail. I met Gloria this morning after riding through the hills all night. And my horse was tired and uh, I changed with Gloria here when she told me the old man wanted to see me pronto. What were you doing across the river all night? I'm grateful for you helping my sister. Outside of that, I don't like your questions. And besides, you haven't told us your name yet, stranger. Can't you see the rock brand on his horse? He's one of the punchers for that thieving outfit. Stranger, I'm sorry I have to thank a rock puncher for saving my daughter. Save your thanks. I'd help any woman in trouble, but I didn't know she was shielding a left-handed killer who happened to be her brother. Please, Danny, don't. Let him at his gun. Think I'm afraid of a sneak who gets a man sitting quietly in his own cabin? I didn't get Ramsey. It's only because what you did for Gloria today that I don't plug you. The evidence shows a left-handed man was a murderer. You had a motive. And you won't tell why you were across the river all night. I had reasons of my own. Rock, get on your horse and ride. We're trying hard not to forget what you did for us today. Yeah, made a fool of myself while you brave O'Neills were hiding out. Come on, Danny. Get mounted, Gloria. Please believe that Danny didn't shoot Jim Ramsey. Then why won't he tell what he was doing last night? Whatever Danny was doing was all right. Meet me tomorrow morning at the Ramsey cabin, and I'll prove it. I'll be there. I hope you're right. You and your men stay on your own side of the river, or there'll be war popping. Let her pop.
Bolton ought to be getting here pretty soon. He ain't never missed a feeding time yet. <laughs> well, you can't blame a puncher for wanting his chow. That's right. Hello, Dad. Hi, right, boys. Hi. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Tom. Well, Tom. <laughs> This is the last place on earth I'd expect to see you unless you've decided to come back and work with me. <laughs> no, just looking into a little trouble. <laughs> That's you, always looking for trouble. <laughs> Are all your men in camp? Yeah, all but Slim and his crew. They're bringing up the Texas herd. They're about a day out of town. You knew Ramsey? Yes. He was one of my men. Doc Underdunk told me about his being knocked off by that O'Neill outfit. Are you sure it was the O'Neills? Well, not exactly, but who else could it have been? Did you know Ramsey well? Oh, sure. Back in Texas. He had a little ranch down there. That is, he did until he and his partner, Mike Gonzalez, was run out for roping other people's cattle. How come men like Ramsey and Gonzaga go down your payroll? Lou Bolton's in charge here, and I never question his judgment. Did you know this Ramsey was called a dummy homesteader? Filing on that land, it closed a river crossing to the O'Neills and started this war? I don't know anything about that, but I'd trust Lou Bolton against those O'Neills any time. Here comes Bolton now. Hiya, Clef. Glad to see you. Right back at you, Bolton. How are you, Kelly? I, you. I want you to shake hands with my son, Tom. And shake hard, because I'm expecting you two to outfight those thieving O'Neills. Tom Lork. Why, why, you're the... Yeah, I'm the army you were chasing. Bolton, I'm asking you, why war on women? What's going on here? Stay out of this, Dad. I've asked this coyote a question, and I'm waiting for an answer. Why, you? What do you mean by this? Have you gone loco? No, he ain't loco. He's just double-crossing his own father. If he hadn't gone over to the O'Neill gang today, I'd have caught the Ramsey killer. That murder was done by one of your gang. What I'm wondering is how much you had to do with it. What do you mean by accusing my men of murder? Did you help the O'Neills? But, Dad, listen a minute. He's trying to alibi. Shut up, Bolton. Answer, Tom, and make it yes or no. Did you help the O'Neills? Help the O'Neills. Do you know what that means? A fine thing. A son of mine throwing in with the O'Neills. You're making a mistake, Dad. Now get out. And stay away until you come to your senses. Come in. Good morning. Good morning. Been here long? Spent the night here. That's what I thought. Why? I heard what happened. So your dad sided him with Bolton. He wouldn't let me explain. My dad wouldn't listen either. The O'Neills think the Rourke outfit's poison. And what do you think? One of them is a good antidote on the square. Thanks, Gloria. That's what I think about one of the O'Neills. How did you get away to come here? 
climbed out the window last night and rode over to Wolf Bend and spent the night with Doc Underdunk's wife. They'll be scouring the range for you. It'll be another hour before they miss me. You shouldn't have come. I had to come. I didn't want you to have anything else to check up against the O'Neills. Danny wouldn't help me, so I can't prove a thing. You can forget what I said about your brother shooting Ramsey. I found where the killer stood. The fellow was right-handed. How did you learn that? By his boot tracks. The way he stood with his right foot back and turned at an angle when he fired. Are you sure? Ought to be. I almost stopped another of his bullets after I left you yesterday. You saw him? Who? Mike Gonzato. Shot at me from this very room while I was across the river examining his boot prints. Picked one up off the floor here after he hightailed it. Found the other where he was standing when he shot at me from the hills. This is a common caliber on Wolf Range. Dad has a 3040. Danny has one too. These won't prove a thing. See that peculiar dent made by the ejector? The shell that got Ramsey had a dent exactly like those, fired out of the same gun. I can understand that. But what about this left-handed business? Why did you think the killer was left-handed? <laughs> Come here, I'll show you. Face the door and pretend you're aiming a rifle from your right shoulder. But the tracks prove he was left-handed. The bullet that finished Ramsey was fired from across the river by a right-handed man who then came over here and planted the left-handed tracks to throw suspicion on your brother. And there's still another proof. A 30-40 fire from the porch would have taken his head off. So it's all clear now. Turns out I knew Danny owns a 30-40, knew he was left-handed, knew he hated Ramsey over this homesteading of the water gap and used him for an alibi. But why would Gonzado want to shoot Ramsey? Everybody knows they were thick as thieves. That's something we've got to find out. In the meantime, I don't think Ramsey would care if we'd rushed his pantry for a little breakfast. That's a grand idea. Mmm, <laughs> they're good. Best I ever ate. Flapjacks are my specialty. More coffee? Mm -mm, never mind, I'll get it. Your horse. Take him out in the brush back of the cabin. Why? Quick, in the pantry. Danny's coming and he won't understand you being here. Good morning, Danny. Where's Gloria? Your sister isn't here, O'Neill. And who was your other breakfast partner? Father. You'll have to come again, Tom Rourke. I happen to know your father threw you out yesterday. Don't be a fool, O'Neill. No more lies, Rourke. I found Gloria's horse staked out in the brush. Don't lose your head, O'Neill. You're the one that's gonna lose your head. <laughs> So this is where you went last night. One more crack like that, kid, and I'll punch some sense into your head. Last night when I begged you to come here with me and prove you're not a killer and the O'Neills are not thieves, you refused. So it was left to me to uphold the honor of the O'Neills. So you call this honorable, huh? Gloria spent the night with the underdog family in Wolf Bend. Well, did you prove I didn't shoot Ramsey? I didn't have to. Tom Rourke was nearly killed yesterday proving that. The killer was right-handed and planted the evidence against you. It was Mike Gonzado. Gonzado? The story's a bit too long to tell standing up. Suppose we sit down. I guess that about covers it, Danny. I'll never be able to thank you, Mr. Rourke. Call me Tom. All right, Tom. I'm sorry for what I said, Gloria. Oh, forget it. Now, maybe you'll be able to tell what you were doing across the river night before last. Tom, I think I'd better show you. Come on. Now, 
Now, who's that prize coyote down there blotting out the brands of the Rourke and O'Neill cattle? Lou Holden. The name Coyote is too good for him. You don't see any O'Neills down there, do you, Tom Rourke? Our Texas herd is due this afternoon. Until Slim and the outfit arrive, we can't do a thing. Maybe we can count on Dad. The O'Neills can sling lead. It's up to the Rourkes to clean up their own trouble. You and Gloria get going for your own side of the river. Listen, Rourke, you and I are riding together and we're fighting together. I've got to meet the Texas herd and get Slim and the others. And when the fight comes, you'll see that I'm in on it. Sure, if you'll just take your sister home now. Look out! to the Corral and Warren Bolt.
You've been running around here loco ever since you got up in this country. What have you done now? Hurt another one of my men? That's the coyote that got Jim Ramsey, and he's Lobotin's right power. That's a lie. You're the only man who left to me to stay on his feet. I've tried your patience some since the first day you put me on the horse, but I've never lied to you. I... I guess you're right. I'll take it back. Dad, did you do us Ramsey homesteading this water crossing? Homesteading? Why, that's patented land. And I sent Ramsey a check for a down payment on the deed. Did you send the check to Ramsey or Bolton? Well, you know I deal through my foreman. And Bolton has framed this to make it look like Ramsey homesteaded this water rights for you. Besides, he's a cattle rustler. Are you sure of that? I can prove it. As Marshal, I'm taking Mike to Wolf Bend to charge him with Ramsey's murder. Lou Bolton and his gang of rustlers are going to be cleaned out today. Come on, Dad. On the way over, I'll tell you what I saw this morning in the West Hills. Mark and Buck O'Neill's kids have been laying up there in the brush watching you. They know everything. How do you know that? They got Mike and took him to town, and they're liable to expose the whole homestead fraud. So that's it. Well, there's only one thing we can do. A couple of you boys get over and take care of the kids. We'll wipe them all out. And that'll give us plain sailing with our cattle. your findings? <clears throat> we find that Jim Ramsey was shot by Daniel O'Neill. No, I don't think he done it. Pete, you ain't much good as a juror. You're no good as a blacksmith. In fact, you ain't much good for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of business is this you're bringing me? Dentist or sheriffing? Mixture of both. I have evidence to prove Gonzalo killed Ramsey. And here's the gun he used. Let's have it. And we let the jury decide. Miss Brown's having a baby and I got to be there. Fred Jones died and I got him to plan. You see, I get them coming and going. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your findings this time? We find that Mike Gonzalez killed Jim Ramsey. Now you're hitting scientific. I didn't kill him. Jim Ramsey was my best friend. You admit owning this gun? I don't admit nothing. I tell you, Jim and me were friends. I hunt hard to find a snake what killed him. I think it was one of that O'Neill outfit. Ain't this your gun? My gun? You ask Bolton about that. You don't have the gun as yours. If it isn't, why don't you talk? I don't talk with them out. I talk with a gun. Yeah, I know. What do you mean, interrupt the dignity of this court? 
The O'Neills are riding up the street and are set for war. Wait! Hold that prisoner in the back room. You Rourke's can get out the back door. As sheriff, I'll handle this trouble. We Rourke's handle our own trouble. Come in and get out of town. My business is with the Rocks. Rock, I hate you, but I figured you fight enough to make this a man's war. What's on your mind, Buck O'Neill? Speak fast. I've come to wipe out the Rocks, father and son. If you feel lucky, draw to your hand. But first, give me back my boy and girl. Girl. Yes, my daughter Gloria. Let's make this a white man's war. Let's not war on women and children. Rock, tell me, what's become of them? O'Neill, I'll swear I haven't laid eyes on them. Yours has. Gloria ran away last night to meet him. And he followed me. We found the tracks on your range, where they were trapped by rifles. Trapped? Glory trapped. Look out, man, Bolt. Get out of here, man. Have they got him upstairs? Yeah. Keep the front covered. Just a little flesh wound. Honey, you're so tough to die. You sure did stop that one mighty pretty little. Oh, shut up, Doc. I gotta get back in this scrap. Take it easy. Bolton's winter all around. After he kills off all of the O'Neills and Rorks, he'll head for Montana with both our herds. Say, what's that? Hey, 
want. They're down to work. And we'll give up to Neil Curl and their brother. If you have them, let's see them. Yeah, they're there all right. Let me go, Tom. No, Dad. I'll go. To live for. I'm an old man. If you'll just take me, I'll come. All right. Leave your guns there and come across with your hands up. No, Tom. Don't. Keep your chin up, Dad. There goes the last of one brave umbrella. I'll pay for the punch in the mouth you handed me. Stick to your word, Bolton. Turn the boy and the girl loose. I got a lot to settle with your dad and the O'Neills. And after that, I'm clearing out of here with their herds, and... Well, you'll find out. Put him upstairs with the others. Oh, get going. No one in sight yet. just near the cabin. They brought us to town through the back way. Danny fought as hard as he could, but they hit him over the head. That rat has tricked us. You better send O'Neill and Rourke over now. I might have known it. I was a fool to let Tom go. O'Neill. They kill us both. Leave this thing to me. Take it easy, O'Neill. Take it easy. <laughs> my Consadus is gone, and so is my gun, too. He must have gone out the window. I told you you was not for nothing. Maybe a little more lead will bring you out. And the boys? No, Tom. Bolton's got men in that alley and they'd shoot you before you've got ten feet. It's our only chance. Say, Tom, I just saw a man cross the street and it looked like your father. Bolton's men are all over town. But where's my father? He's all right. The boys of the herd are coming up the trail, and I'm going after them. Here, Danny. Take care, Gloria. Right, now, Tom. Come 
Come on, boys. We're all in trouble. Give me the gun, Slim. Come on. Cut. We'd better make a run for the alley. We'll break the door down. Blue blow. You killed Jim Ramsey, my best friend. They'd give me the gun so everyone would think I killed him. Homesteaded it. Well, I can't send you to jail for uh, buying property from Ramsey that he didn't know. Shucks, Rort. You know no man can take up two homesteads to get in the government. So, as Deputy Land Commissioner of these parts, I'm withdrawing that land from public entry. From now on, that's going to be community property, that water gap. <laughs> for Wolf Range. Well, looks like this is going to be my busy day. <laughs> As deputy coroner, I'll have a good deal of rough undertaking work to do. With Black Pete, Mike, Curly, and a few others. <laughs> but, as deputy justice of the peace, I can always take time out to tie a wet knot so tight it won't a bungle. 